Good evening. My name is Jim Hetzel, Head of Product Management for Air Operations at Cerium. Today is April 8, 2020. It's about 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Let's take a look at today's insights from our Global Disruption Intelligence Tool, one of the many analytics offerings from Cerium. From here, we can see a global comparison of today's scheduled and flown flights compared to the same day in 2019. This may be surprising to some people, but we're seeing almost 29,000 active flights around the world today. We know most of this traffic is domestic or intra-regional due to pandemic-related travel restrictions. This view is quite interesting as we can look at global changes or drill down to specific airports and or airlines through our robust data filters. Through this view, we can also glean some quick insights on seat capacity. Over 3.7 million seats were flown so far today. That said, schedules are still fluid in these uncertain times and capacity planning is still searching for a new baseline. So we can see there were an additional 9,700 uh, flights that were canceled, representing 1.42 million seats based on today's schedule. Next, I would like to look operationally. And this view it represents uh, three days of global operational cancellations through today. So you can quickly identify cancellation hotspots. For example, uh, we can see Amsterdam Schiphol Airport uh, over the last three days had 972 cancellations representing 89% of their scheduled flight operations. Also, North America stands out with the majority of operational cancellations, which is 38% of all global cancellations. I can also easily view the cancellation details for the day to understand the impact to aircraft types and seat capacity. This view can be as broad as granular as needed based on filtering. We are here to support the aviation industry. Please reach out to Sirium to see how our portfolio of services can help you.